they're sleeping. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Just kind of watching our our, uh, our fearless troops here, ready to, to tackle the unknown. Oh, we're flipping in and out of this guy. Low concentrations of, of air, that's what it is. So our, yeah, we need to get this guy going. We're lacking power, is that it? He's on this loop. Gotta get somebody into here. I said for nine. We're out of power. So I just need to get a runner down there and it'll happen soon or or we'll uh, get one right now. Let's see who we have available. Hmm. Too much stress here. So we're into these two. We have a learning, construction, and cooking. And we could use those. Negative three learning could be overcome. And there's diver's lungs. Hmm. That's quite the possibility there. Can't cook. Now that's odd. I thought they had fixed that. That ones that have a high skill level won't also get the uh, a negative that'll cancel out that skill level. I thought that was in the update notes. Maybe I, maybe I'm wrong about that. But um, okay. So, oh, I know what it was. It was the opposite. Ones that get a big bonus to a certain skill wouldn't get one that then cancels it afterwards. I think that's how it worked. But this is a definite possibility. I think we're going to go here. So you are in. Great. That is number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to get a bedroom going. I would say this is probably our most likely one. I did just queue this up out of curiosity. I kind of want to see that happen. So let's get that going and let's go ahead and deconstruct this one. And we'll get this built over here. But they're going to be busy running and feeding the different uh, you know, water into these and algae into these. Yeah, so they're, they're going to be busy. Sand into these. Got outhouse duty again. <laughs> And that one needs some sand. Look at all the clay. So it spits out clay. And we can use that clay to make new planter boxes. And maybe, maybe a few other things in the game. I'm not sure. Anyway, this has been fed. There's algae. Ooh. This has been fed slime and is up and running. I'm making lots of polluted water. Which will eventually feed both of these guys. Why is that broken? Because I ran, ran, ran a ladder down there. Okay, so plumbing, pipe, fill that in. Okay. Now, we've got a whole bunch of water up here. A whole bunch of hot water. 123, 141, 164 degrees. That's some hot stuff. We're going to want to refill down here eventually. We've got more available, and it's all nice and cool, right? No, 146. We've got another steam vent down here somewhere. Ah, it's right there. That's right. So only 112 here because it's not it's not actually blowing. See, it says steam guys are rising pressure. So it's going to explode here before long. But 146 degrees, 44 degrees in here. Yeah, that might be our source of continuous water for the base. If we can find a way to cool it. And an idea that came to me today about that, I was uh, leaving comments over on uh, one of Murphy's episodes and... and uh, some, uh, someone else wrote back in and suggested ways to, to cool things down. I get to thinking about it. What if we ran a supply pipe from a place like this into a cold zone back and forth a few times and you're now a nine and then leave here and spit into whatever our holding zone is, which is probably like down here. Yeah, realistically, I think we're going to hold water right down in here. We need an excuse to get this algae out of here anyway, and the slime, so we can feed that out over there. But that would cool everything down, get that 146 down to something. I have no idea how many passes I've got to make to get it down into the 50s again, or 40s. 70s and 40s. Ah, because we we have cold creeping through here, that's why. Yeah, this is an interesting view. There are hot little dupes running around. What equipment is warm? Actually, none of it's really hot. These things put off some heat when they're used. We haven't used them for a while. We haven't used them for a while. That's right. Cancel all that. And pause jobs. We just got a new dupe. 
we will it's may right now it'll be whomever we choose for later i don't have any names stacked up right now so guys let me know if you want to be a part of the series otherwise we'll just start stacking up their names until uh, until our own names appear but we want this one to take over research was that right um stats where was the negative three learning yeah so you're going to do the last of the research where is that that's right there no longer kathra but may is going to be researching and otherwise not doing art and not doing combat but everything else is available for now until we figure out what should or shouldn't be done so you're on art or you're on research and let's just say let's head out to here turns research back on again and you're going to get that negative three learning hopefully at least into a, a one or two positive by the time that's over all right you have been turned off because we were contained over here until we overwhelmed things now i had let's see i think it was Nettie who wrote in i had mentioned last time that i'd noticed that the contaminated oxygen is, was drifting this direction and i didn't know if that was my imagination or not and she said that it's been confirmed from uh, some other youtube videos where they were testing that and came to the conclusion that the lighter gases tend to drift up and right and the heavier gases tend to drift down and left and i think we're starting to kind of see that process here of the carbon dioxide wanting to go that way but that was kind of interesting so if you were to we're going to get into natural gas production here it's going to start letting off this orange gas now i know as it drops it's going to head to this area first or you know hit probably right here if once our water level goes up so if i'm going to have a an air pump pumping air out of this area trying to trying to, to sift out all of the natural gas i'm going to want it on this side not over here because it's going to congregate down over there and now i know well we'll see if that holds true but um it, i don't see any reason why not so we've got quite a bit of algae building up in here now I fell out of here, that's right. There's probably no reason to have to sweep it out of here. I don't have any danger of, uh, of hatches attacking it. So that'll be fine. There's a little bit of clay there. All three are running now? Yeah, okay. All right, so anyway, we did ask this to get going, and it is. We're going to build up a little bit in here until this is done, but when it's all done is this red drops into it and the and the purple which should hopefully turn to light blue sometime will drift up then it should accomplish the same thing but do it in a much wider area throughout the life of the algae terrarium here so that's fine there algae is what now 1600 is still very little i burned you with through a thousand a day if we had everything running which they are kind of running right now what can we taper down this guy can go down can we play real quick before we get off from that side over there with the idea of a of a what would that be not a hydrostat plumbing no power a hmm an atmospheric switch what's oh, a pressure switch what what is the official term for for that when you hit a certain atmospheric pressure it turns something on or off I want to turn this guy on and off when pressure builds up in this area. It has a negative 5 decor, but that's just going to have to work because I can't put it right there. I could, I can't put it here because of the plant, so it's going to have to go up here. And that's a shame. Unless it went down now because i got to cross the line. So that doesn't work either. Yeah, it's going to have to be up in the air. Okay, so the idea is destroy wires... Just take out that wire right there. We're going to run a new wire from here, I believe, up into this, out of this, down and back into that. Now, why did you just give me... Oh, that's the symbol saying it's not plugged in yet. Okay. Let's make that happen and see if it works. I have not used this one before. Priority 9. Make this happen, guys. And not you. You're Nate. So we get this little system going. Let's explore it, see how it works. We are running at 
1250 right now, which is more than enough. We only need 150 for the plants, though it does help to kind of push the carbon dioxide out of the area. So we don't have to maintain just 151. Maybe take it up to 500 and then shut itself off and just kind of keep cycling in and out. If that works, we'll do something similar over here too. All right, that guy been supplied. Now, I like how you pull the handle and all the water flushes down in. I like the animations. Atmo switch, they're calling this, under construction. Let's take a look at the, the description on that thing. So, switches power grids on and off based on ambient gas pressure. Okay. Duplicate operation. Ooh, duplicate operation. Let's go back to the plumbing one. Plumbing, this guy right here. Does not say duplicant operation. Though we saw one time where someone ran down over here and flipped that lever and went back. That really surprised me when I saw that. Anyway, I want you to... Hmm, we have a choice here. Above or below. So that means it's going to... I assume that means run if it is below 500. How does that sound? And what is the battery? No power. Because it is above 500. I'm going to go with that. We'll see if that holds true. Okay. Running ended just before it went nighttime. So we must have hit full. Uh, battery 8.9 kilojoules. Don't these go to 40? No, these are little ones. These guys go to 40, right? Yeah. So 28.9 out of, we'll say, 40. Though that doesn't seem quite proportional, but I'm pretty sure these go to 40s. So these must go to 10? No, oh, 6.1 now. Yeah, that looks like a 10. Okay. So we're using it quite fast, actually. We're only running these two and this, right? No, we went up in here. We're using it there now. That's right. Okay. And that just ran out of power and slime. No, just slime, and this one is not connected yet. Okay. Anyway, we've got a bedroom to make. We have got to continue with our, our system over here, get the top end done, and then get down below and get this tank starting to build. As soon as this area is up and running, we need to get down and build a, a water holding tank in here and start looking at the idea of uh, uh, generating clean water, though that may not be the most high priority. A power source would certainly be nice too. Hmm. As well as a ducting system and and uh, getting our oxygen generated beyond uh, in a way other than algae. There's yeah. There's there's actually several high priority uh, concepts to to attack yet. What is happening down here? Did I miss something? Boy, I missed something. What happened? Well, I've been talking and my eyes have been looking at all the things I'm talking about and I've not been reading. When I'm editing, I'll probably go back and see that somebody had an accident or something, but why? These guys are functional. There's no stress issues. And broken pipes? Don't get the sensor is. There's no there's nothing in the system right now, but that's the system right there. That's weird. That's the second time we've had this kind of an issue. End of last episode, too. Strange. Well, let's uh, let's get the cleaning started. Clean whatever this is, and down into there. We'll leave this alone. In fact, we'll. Uh... What did you pick up? Delivering what? How will I know? I won't. You're delivering to here. You picked up polluted ice. This is forming, this is turning into ice. And that's a nine, so you're off getting it. That's what just happened there. Okay. 
So we're cleaning this mess up. I don't know where it came from. But maybe that'll be obvious when I do the editing. You guys probably saw it. <laughs> and everyone who's doing the cleaning is going to be grimy and nasty. And they're all going to be fighting for the shower. Which says building is disabled. I disabled the... That's right. I disabled the building when I was trying to get them to work on getting this set up and all the things set up in order to record last episode. And they just kept wanting to take showers because I kept making them do dirty things. So I said, fine, you're not getting more showers. Maybe that's why my stress is up there. Let's turn this back on. I will be a nice dictator now. <laughs> you can take a shower. Boy, who's going to be in there first? There's Ebony. <laughs> the line forms right here. You done yet? All right. So, what I was about to say was, and did we actually get it all? That doesn't look right. Um, sweep nine one more time here. No. Kind of a yellow haze right here. And there's, you see that line right there? Polluted water. Sweep nine. Oh, not sweep. That's why. That's why. That's why. Cancel all. Hmm, what am I canceling? That's what I want. I want Mop 9. Ah, much better. Okay. Anyway, what I was trying to say was, we need to think about a bedroom. So I'd say the bedroom's first, and then we're going to get into uh, working deeper into there. So let's... I want to just nine that area. Is that going to hurt us? Everything's working. We're having some problems here. I didn't sweep it so that it would turn into ice, but... Maybe that's not the best route to go. Let's go ahead and mop nine through there and just get it done. Okay. Another dupe. Choose. Fifteen's a no, twenty's a no, ten is a maybe, but I won't have any research left to upgrade that. So these guys are no's. Alright, that's that. That was simple. Now, I think we are doing fine. We're, lo we're losing a little bit on food there. But these aren't being harvested, that's why. Alright. Change gears here. Nine. Got to hover over that nine for a while. That's a new crop. Maybe that's why they're not automatically being harvested. That must be it. New crop has to be reset. Get these done, and I think we're kind of done for all of our important stuff. In which case, let's get this guy done. And when that's done, we'll, we'll leave some time to get caught up on all the things, and then we'll nine out this area and get this going. I think that's the plan. Uh, natural gas should be heavy and drop, so I shouldn't need to, unlike uh, hydrogen, and carve out up above. So that'll be fine. So we're about to end this day. We'll go ahead and get through the day, catching up on any of the last stuff, like sweeping the food out of here before any unknown hatches decide to devour it in the night. Now we're going to take another shower. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. The life of a dupe. And they're not going to do it at all. Okay, whatever. So, I wake up tomorrow morning. I'm going to give them an hour or so to top off anything that needs it. Sand or, or water or algae. Speaking of algae, pressure is 500. Ooh, we're going to get to see this happen soon. And I'm just going to manually turn you off for a while. Disable. Right? Right enough. I mean, this is the, the best color, but even this is uh, sufficiently concentrated. So I'd say we're fine. Though we're, kind of, we're hurting a bit over here, aren't we? Very toxic. Low concentrations. It's going to be hard to work over here. But, 538, I think we're drifting from here into here. That's why we're, okay, we're hitting the 500 now. So let's watch right down there at the bottom. 499. I'm waiting for this guy to trigger on its own. There it goes. It worked. Ah, great. Good to see. It's going to cycle back and forth, probably, as it quickly pops over 500 for a little bit and then drops under. So we may see this thing just flicker on and off 
all the time. In other words, there needs to be a a uh, oh, I forget the the term for it. A, a gap between start and stop. There's a name for that. That that gap. That uh, uh, I can't think of it now. But a range from 400 to 600 would be more appropriate for that. But it worked. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here and then we'll get started on the bedroom. So power, let's get into an Atmos switch and we'll put it right here. So that Atmos switch actually, that's one thing to think about. You wanna locate it, it's like a thermostat in your home. You don't wanna put it next to your furnace, you wanna put it in the area that you want to actually regulate up in the living spaces. So this would make more sense probably right here. Make sure there's pressure to, at the furthest point. Where do we want to make sure that we've got pressure? And we could pop it in here or there. Huh. Well, it'll work here for the moment. And then we'll, we'll think about that when we get to working on our master plan. Hydro switch based on ambient liquid pressure. So a pipe goes in and out of that. Okay. Thermo switch. So maintain a certain amount of heat in this. So that's actually a thermostat, okay. So power, we're gonna head up into here, over and down, and we're going to deconstruct power there. Does that look right? I think that's gonna go away right here if they destruct that, deconstruct that before the others are built. There we go. Well, let's do that again. It took out the other one. I thought it might. There we go. All right, so let's priority nine that one. That'll be done here in moments. And then we'll get up in here and get a bedroom going for me. I'm trying not to use May's name too often. I want to get used to it because it may change next episode. And 500 here too. It's in the 500s right now. That's probably a reasonable number to go for until we get the real oxygen generation system going. So, 500. Boy, I just moved a whole bunch. What am I missing here? Why is it fluctuating so crazy? Oh, it's down here. That's what it actually is, and that's... Okay, I was... That little pop-up window there was hiding it. If I were to move down... No, it doesn't do any good. So you just gotta look through that. I see. That'll do right there and below. So it'll run when it is below 500. Which it... It's kind of fluctuating right now. Let's watch that for a little bit. It has to do with what's in the area. There'll be 500 and something of oxygen, but if a little pocket of carbon dioxide is moving around that has much less right there, then that'll be the, the fluctuation. It'll suddenly drop to 300 for that. Anyway, we know it's gonna work because it did great over here. So that is done. It is at the end of another day already. Oh, I'm running at two speed. That's why time seems to be going away. See, I do a lot of talking, so I don't want to run it at two and three because too much of the game goes away behind me while I'm still finishing explaining what I'm talking about. And so that much more oxygen has been breathed, that much more algae has been burned through, and that much more food has gone away. So it doesn't do me any good to, to blast through the game like this. If I was just playing without commenting, then, then uh, that would work. But that's not me. It triggered. Awaiting material delivery. Are you, you are a nine. There weren't that many nine jobs. That should have been done. That was odd. So I will have to wait for a little while while they get the initial deliveries done. Okay. Anyway, so once that is done, let's blast through the, through the night. Right in there. Wait a minute. They have been busy working. I forgot. I've been watching up here. The end of last episode, we nined all of this, didn't we? Let me look at that. Mm, well, we might have. They're all gone now. But 
that explains why they weren't doing some of the other things. They were all busy up in here. We needed the copper. Aha. Well, in that case, that's all done. This is now assigned to May. So let's give May a mess table. Where? You found one somewhere. You claimed that one over there. Okay, this is your room now. Let's give you a potted plant. Briar seed. Make you a nine. Get that one done. We get this one done for whoever's coming next. Plant nine you. And we need to clean up all the debris in these rooms that fell through with that construction. And we've got a mess of the air up here. Yeah. Hmm. The only easy way to clean that up would be to finish off right here. So the time that I was going to spend doing this one, let's go ahead and punch this through. Got to be careful about this, though. Yeah. Don't want to to uh, prematurely get into the uh, the business of filtering that water out. All right, so in that case, you're already grabbing... Okay, you're planting. Good. So let's do a sweep nine of... At least, it's going to take a long time to clear all this out, so let's at least do the plant to the bed on those. That over right there is already half a day's worth. So we get that one done. And let's dig all of this and down, just to get the, the, the symbols in place. Let's priority... Those are done now. Those are done. Well, let's trigger these just to make it look like that. Interesting. You are what? Toasty surroundings. Yeah, we need to need to vent some heat out of this. But why is there a double ones, but there's not here? Um, priorities. That one looks like it's for the plant, and that's for the pot. We don't seem to get that option here. You... Hmm. Well, I don't know. Now does it show? It doesn't show. That's odd. Maybe that's a sort of thing that uh, that happens with the uh, with a restart of the game when it goes through and recalculates everything. Uh, I guess we need to get these uh, uh, canvases up, and we'll take that up to like an eight. Whether it happens right now or not, I don't know. But that's up, and that finishes those rooms. The sweep is going to supersede everything. But let's prioritize, and we'll go with an 8 for the moment. Well, we'll go with a 9 for the bare minimum. Bare minimum is to finish that and that. Open up these vents, let the, the polluted air up, and 9... An air deodorizer right there. Okay, so there's bare minimum. Did I also get the staircase? I did. So stairs in, do that. Would it really hurt to do both? Tell you what, let's just add this a little bit in. Oh, I missed that nine again. Try that again. So there, like that, like that. And eight, this guy. All right. So we've got Murphy and Ebony stressed. Murphy's in there. Ebony's probably on her way. That is still, yep, that is. Ebony, where are you at? You're busy working on something that's got you distracted. Probably in here. No, two blondes in there. <laughs> there. Ah, you're running the uh, battery's up. If I were to tell you to move to right there, you would recalculate and go get food. Food supersede... Oh, the, someone else jumped on the uh, the massage bed. That's why. Ah, okay. <coughs> Holding their breath through here still. Ah, got one open. Great. And by having such a small window... Uh, 25 to 20, it, it cycles them through quicker if there's several of them that are needing assistance. 
Anyway, so we don't need to do this bedroom. This one is done. We're going to clean up this little bit here. And then hopefully we're going to get into here. We are making algae. That was the most important thing. This is going to make fertilizer, which we're also making here, but we have no... Where am I? Here. Polluted soil. That's right. There's something else I wanted to check. But polluted soil is here, and we have none. Last time, I went to dump the frozen... There you are. Polluted ice. And I accidentally clicked the polluted dirt instead of polluted ice. So this time, let's see if this, what this does. So we're right here. It should melt in this room. If I were to do this, it spits it out. Sits right there. Liquefiable. It's at negative 14 degrees. I'm expecting that to warm up. It's not happening. Okay. Oh, there's another mechanic of the game they still need to, to work on. <laughs> really? I expect it to melt inside of here and just run out, run out the bottom. No, it is going to stay in the state of ice no matter where it is. Fascinating. Okay, well, that's where we're going to store it. Anyway, you guys have begun the job. All right. And by going both directions, because only one person can do a job here until they break into the top, then they can do multiple jobs at once. So it gives us two pathways in to get more people working on it. But the air is going to be pretty polluted up here until this gets cleaned up. All right, so with that, what else is important? We're cycling through. We really need to get a source of air into here. I just don't want to st install yet another one of these. I just don't want to. We're down to 900 again. Now, I wonder what the 900 is. Is it 900 that's in a container? Because there's a lot over here. Well, there's not. There's 75. There's 295 there, and this much bigger ball, there's 75. So the graphics are not consistent. Huh. But it does exist if they need it. But let's punch into here and get this guy going. Otherwise, these are Weezworts. Do we have any Weezwort seeds that are just laying around. And do they self-plant? You're the sleet wheat grain. Do they self-plant like they used to in the previous update if you place them onto a surface? That I don't know. Meat is refrigerated. Good. So you could plant these in a pot like these and put them somewhere where you want to chill an area. We could somehow use those in conjunction with our warm water to try to chill it as it goes in. As well as where? Not refinement. Utilities, right? Yeah, the hydrofan. No, the thermoregulator. Basically, air conditioner. So you'll pump gas through that. Now, how do you deal with liquid, though? A liquid tepidizer marginally warms large bodies of liquid. Okay, it's a glorified uh, uh, aquarium heater. I see, or a pond heater. Space heater warms up a room. This cools down a room, takes somebody to man it and pump it. And this one cools down um, air, gas, as it flows through. So there really isn't something that cools down liquid. Interesting. Not It's not in the game yet. So, yeah, the idea of running it through pipes back and forth in here would probably be the only way to easily do it. The idea came across to build a pond in here. I don't know if it wouldn't quickly turn to snow or ice. So I don't know what the long-term effect of that would be. Um, while we're waiting, has anything new popped in? Oh, we can see more of this now. There's the top of that geyser. It's all oxygen up here. Very low concentration, though. Polluted oxygen, low concentration. All right. Do we have any sense of natural gas? 
I really want a natural gas geyser. Vacuum steam geyser is another steam geyser. So we've got two steam geysers right here. It's going to be kind of tough to regulate the temperature in that area. No orange. No hint of orange. Darn. Natural gas is new to this update. It'd be nice to be able to experiment with it. I might be just dealing with uh, coal and hydrogen for the, for the time being. It's looking that way. I hate to travel all the way down here and then run a wire all the way back up to get power into the base. That's a lot of walking. It would take us 20 episodes to build it. At the rate that I play. <laughs> anyway, speaking of the rate that I play, what am I at? About 35 minutes? What have we accomplished? Well, we're st we've got a hatch. That's what we've accomplished. Ah... Okay. Well, you're pooping coal right there. Otherwise, you're eating my granite and my obsidian. Hmm. One, two, three layers holding back all that weight. This is going to be an iffy build. When we get into this, we're going to need to drop priority across the whole place and go in and just build this one. Uh, dig it out and build it. And dig it out and build it, and dig it out and build it, and make sure that we never sit, especially overnight, with just the two. Or by the time next morning hits, we're going to be dripping through and, and ready to, to break. So we've got to be real cautious about this construction in this area. This doesn't even happen until we found a way to divert this water. Maybe send it on down into some other place. I'm not real sure. I can't really pump it out into here easily. So maybe we can get a second layer built on this and have it flow and drip down onto this. I don't know. We'll see. Then we're going to need we're going to need to seal this geyser in so it doesn't continue building more. Once that's sealed in and, and uh, we're confident about it, then we can get a couple of layers here. As well, I guess we can probably get another another row or another floor or two up to it, and then just really double up on the on the walls in that area. Nice to go up one more layer. Maybe take this one out eventually and get one more layer of bedrooms in for the final count for the series. We'll see. But right now, we're early daytime. He's not going to sleep. You're copper, aren't you? I need you. Once we get to here, he can burrow in. Yeah. You are five. Let's five these guys here. Give these... As sleeping places for him. Okay, we'll do that. But this guy, mealwood seeds, sweep nine. You sweep nine. I thought they would have already. All these are in high priority storage bins. Okay, those are gone. All right, are we going to get to here? We really like to. Okay, I'll go ahead and kick the speed up one notch. Get that going. Yeah, I, w I would assume that not having enough air to breathe is a source of stress as well. Yeah. Hmm. It will probably come the time to have to have a another couple of these up and running. Though I think we're doing okay right now. Just looking things over while they're working on this stuff. It's a long walk. That's probably what's going on. And I guess these aren't going to work until these are done, are they? Yeah. Alright. Priority. Yeah, let's get the top done. Well, we're one... Okay, let's at least get to this point done. And then we'll set these guys probably for first thing next episode to get that accomplished. But we've got to get into him and get him set. And then we'll call it an episode. So while they're doing that, take a look at this right here. Is there anything that you would change? The thought is a double row of these granite insulations down the length of this and up. That's why he's one space up in the air. 
and then dig him up, fill in across here. So we've got a double barrier of, of granite between here and there. Not going to dig out underneath, though that may be a worry spot right there. It might be. Let's cancel him, add you in granite there, and get that one built first. Then there, and then here. Then essentially we should have one, two, three, four layers. Even though this is weaker stuff. But I think it'll, it'll count as four layers. So then a double layer up the side here, because we're going to get into pressures off this guy eventually. So other than this and getting this set up here in case we decide to use it later even though this will be self-contained anything you would change in here anything that I'm not thinking of that's a little worrisome so kind of peek through there and give me your thoughts on it that's the plan right now all right I did hear you pop in are we up here we're almost there we're so close good set you as a nine that didn't work not you. There. Nine. And why aren't you just going to sleep? You, I noticed this guy over here took days and days to finally get to where he would use that one. No, oh, I thought that was built. I guess he just dug out the path behind it. Now I'll set you as a nine so that you'll get your uh, sand delivered. But he should drop right into this. In fact, until he is dealt with, I'm going to specifically cancel at least one of those. Really? Can he not go if there's a blueprint over it? I didn't think that. But let's prioritize now nine across there. And that will get these dug out, get the, the air moving through. May as well get that one as well. Did I get that one? I did not. So nine... You just kind of finish these rooms off. Um, doors are nines, so they will happen when, you know, the moment that I ask them to, to lock them open, lock them closed. Sometimes there's an emergency. Someone is trapped behind, I don't know, it's happened to me before, and a door was the reason somebody uh, was in trouble. So I want those to always be a pretty much automatic response. But I think we're going to call it done right here. That one will be supplied... Next episode, we get these last things done, and let me know your thoughts over here. We're going to probably dive into this for the most part next episode. Everything else seems to be doing pretty good. We'll get the dupe first thing next episode as well. So I've got one dupe right now needing a name, and potentially, that's seven, potentially nine more if we do eventually go to 16 rooms. By then, before I get much beyond the probably 10 mark maybe yeah maybe we'll get to 10 we need to have dependable oxygen dependable power all sorts of other systems up and running so there's a lot more to do the problem is it takes much longer to do it when there's less hands to do the work so yeah no matter how i do this it's, it's going to be tough anyway this has been noble rambler thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye bye